Tonight, we continue to follow developing news out of Beaverton, where investigators say they found human remains in a backyard burn pit. They believe it's the remains of the woman who lived there, and tonight her son is behind bars. KGW's Pat Doris is live outside the home for us tonight. Pat. Well, Joe, Tracy, this is a quiet neighborhood with well-kept homes. It's just west of 217 by Allen Boulevard, but things were different back at that house. And now investigators are there trying to unravel the hidden secrets inside. 57-year-old Kathy McDowell was last heard from Sunday night when her daughter talked with her on the phone. The next morning around 4.30 a.m., neighbors complained to the fire department because someone had a big fire going in the home's burn pit out back. It's there in front of a detached garage where we saw investigators with our drone today. By Monday afternoon, police were at the house. The daughter was there, her mom missing, and the things her brother was saying frightened her. He said it to police, too. That he burned his mom's body. That was all he had, would say. Mr. Gutierrez is truly named. Police arrested 24-year-old Matthew Gutierrez and charged him with the abuse of a corpse. They say he has some mental illness issues and an anger issue. By midday Tuesday, police had confirmed the remains found in the backyard were human. Next, scientists will work to prove they belong to Kathy McDowell. It's an awful crime. Because, you know, I mean, this isn't something that a, a normal person would do. There's, there's something going on that, that would cause somebody to do this. So it's just, it's entirely sad for all around. There's no one here who escapes the horror of it all. The investigators as well, we feel it. Um, we try as much as we can to, you know, just focus on you know what we have to do but that's somebody's mother that's somebody's sister that's somebody's loved one in there that we're finding parts of hmm. police say they have been out to this house for before for arguments between the son and the mother and while the son confessed to burning his mother's body he didn't say anything about how she died and that's one reason investigators are still in there looking for clues trying to put together this entire story